What's going on everyone? Hit pause here with a very quick tutorial in the material editor for UE4. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can actually create your own dynamic switch. Um, it doesn't come out as a uh, checkbox here like a boolean. Uh, it does end up as a 0 to 1. But the fact is, is when I try to use this, if I click this, um, you can see that it inverts immediately. But the problem is is that this here cannot be dynamic okay it just can't um, in fact you can see here I'll just dock this upstairs and we'll see real quick that what I'm doing is a switch parameter okay um, static bool parameter essentially uh, the fact is is that it is a static bool parameter you just can't change this on the fly so if I wanted the players to have a, the ability to change the colors of stuff I would have to uh, I, I wouldn't be able to do it I, I would have to create a like a second material instance with that set to negative so instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this with our own and the idea is to just simply use an if statement okay it's really simple and right now this is my actual invert mask thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a scalar parameter here called the same thing invert mask okay and this is gonna be my checkpoint and then I'm just gonna have uh, I did not want that to happen okay so we put invert mask there click out and we come here and actually I don't need I don't need actually to be a parameter that can just be a scalar value. And what we're going to do is we're just going to test against 0 0.5. Okay? And we're going to put that there. So what will happen is, pull that there. So essentially, if our invert mask, well, I actually have these backwards. We're testing against 0 0.5, and A is our value. Okay. So if it is greater than or equal, uh, basically, means we're over this so then we're kind of in the true range right so we'll throw that there and we'll say equal as well otherwise we're in the false range and now we come here so instead of using a boolean that we can't control in game we use an if statement that is merely tied to a parameter so if this what's going to happen is if right now at 0 we're less than B right so we're false if I set it to 1 we will be greater than or equal to it and we'll end up true and this does work in game so the players can change this now all you gotta do is when it goes to give them the UI for the controls you make sure that this is a checkbox but the end result is in fact just a float okay and when I apply this uh, it's gonna have to rebuild and you'll see everything start going through here so I'll pause and if we bring up our material instance and we come to invert mask now if we set this to one it inverts and if we set it to zero it doesn't if we actually go uh, 0 0.49 it doesn't change but if we go 0 0.5 it does remember uh, greater than or equal to this is the value so we just want we're, we're simulating a boolean zero and one dead hopefully this helps you guys out this hip hop signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one